Bobble activation. I was like, surely if he doesn't play Wasteland, then, uh... Savannah into Elvish Reclaimer. A fetch here for John. Maybe a bolt happening. <laughs> All right, the reclaimer has already been moved to the graveyard. Let's see. Nope, just an end step brainstorm. We have an end step brainstorm, everybody. Wow, so it wasn't an end step brainstorm. It was in response, and then a daze hit the Elvish Reclaimer. Interesting. So that was not an end step brainstorm. I lied. As usual, my commentary and play by play is unmatched. Sylvan Library comes down, force pitching Ponder in response, though. Putting a Scalding Tarn into the Yardwood Savelle. Uh, uh, up the trigger. Yeah. Chili, thank you for the resub. 12 months for Chili. 12 months is one year. Congratulations, Chili. That's a new badge. You did it. You did it. Congratulations. Well done. Big achievement for Chili. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous of your career name. Oh. Here's a Mark Todd. There it is. Dark Depths comes down for Kevin. Shout out to Kevin, throwing awesome events at Game Storio every week. All right, a crop rotation is happening. Sacrificing Savannah. Maybe you're gonna play around Wasteland here and go for it? Nope. Just gonna pass. Dark Depths available. Express Federation puts a steam vent into the graveyard with Surveil. Let's see how this expressive resolves. Puts a wasteland into exile. That's a good one. One card on the bottom, one card in hand. Wasteland will be great right now with a Merit Lage sitting in wait. Attacking for, I believe, just seven. Seven? Seven. Okay. Wasteland is protecting. There's a Wasteland for Kevin, though, so Kevin is able to initiate the exchange to create a Merit Lidge by wasting the Wasteland, putting John in a tough position. Looks like Kevin's going to go for it now. We're going for it on John's upkeep, it looks like. John's going to react by trying to waste the stage. We're going to see an activation targeting Dark Depths. Looks like Merit Lage will be successfully created here. Okay. A little bit of a groan from John as Merit Lage hits the table. 
Now goes to draw. Creatures should be untapped. So, with Kevin at 12, no good attacks. Need a blocker for Marit Lage. Dropping a DRC and passing. So this Murktide will be a chump blocker, most likely. Flagstones of Trocare for Kevin. Who can potentially... Let's see if let's see if Kevin goes to remove this Murktide. I mean Source to Plowshares can remove it, for example, but the gained life will allow a Marit Lage hit to go um, through to John without winning the game. Crap rotate. Okay, crop rotation, sacrificing flagstones for Trocare. Anticipating YouTube comments. Confused about that. Yabamaya on the table can allow any land to tap for green. Here's a lightning bolt in response. Surveilling brainstorm and pyroblast into the yard. Right, Marilage gets blocked by John's DRC after Delirium is turned on. I thought I thought the trigger off of Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. Oh, it's like I can't. I, no, I think you can get two situations. I messed up. Like three times. It's okay. It's okay. You got me. Um. I think I'm done. Go ahead. I have a bolt in my hand too. Okay. No, I, I just messed up. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. All right. Kevin says I messed up. Uh, maybe forgetting something with the. Flagstones trigger. So John up a game here. Turn zero, Ley Line of the Void for Kevin before we get started. Ley Line of the Void, pretty good against the uh, current Legacy Delver decks. Basically turns off Murktide, turns off the possibility of Delirium. Aquina says, it was nice meeting John at the Leaving a Legacy Open last weekend. John made top eight. Yes, John made top eight. John made top eight. As we're entering game two here, I do have some shout outs. Come on, YouTube, don't let me down. I'm trying to do shout outs. Well, it's kind of hard to thank my members if I can't see who they are, YouTube. One more time. Here we go. Thank you to new YouTube members, Anthony Morris, Felipe Dietrich Passos, Steve Beckhaus, Ryan Pitt. Thank you for becoming members. Hit the join button if you're watching on YouTube. Become a member. I will thank you as well. Also, shout outs to Joshua Bearden, Bell English, Lucas Moretti for hitting one-year badges. And of course, shout out to Pillar of the 90s MTG community, Bob Patterson Jr., 19 months at the rare tier on YouTube. Thank you so much, Bob. Okay. We got through that. You can cut after this. Cards? Resolves uh, and a turn, I'll bother myself. Sure. 
So I'll, do, I'll resolve it. Or trigger first and resolve problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm keep. So you're up to your stacking. Uh, draw first and then double trigger. So double triggers and the resolve first. Double trigger. Yeah. So I still. Okay. So yeah. That's how it goes. Whatever. Okay. Why are you starting? Well, I started. Swords on Delver with the triggers on the stack. Delver's gone. Puts John up to twenty-one. That's this. I haven't. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Can that now draw for turn? Yes, draw for turn. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Actually, the All right, main phase brainstorm here for John. Elvish Reclaimer on the other side of the table. Reclaimer is a good card. Key part of these green white depths decks. <laughs> You just have this be your exile pile. How about that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been Shanghai. Yes. I've been Shanghai. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm yeah. smart. All right, another Delver comes down for John. I don't speak this language every time. Three, four? <laughs> Alright, attacks with the Reclaimer and passes the turn. Delver reveals a force of will on top. Flips it over. Comes an insectile aberration. Cards? I would bet any sum of money. That I just put on Swords with the force of will still on top of the library. Brainstorm in response. Kevin's like, yeah, all right. So we're probably going to see this Delver get it protected here. Maybe not. Depends what John draws, I guess. The swords are still in the stack. <laughs> Force pitching ponder on the source of plowshares. Uh, All right, still in in uh, upkeep. Delver gets hit with pyroblast. So the insectile aberration is gone after all. And another Delver comes down for John. Romario is here. What's up, Romario? Here's another Elvish Reclaimer for, for Kevin. That's a good one. End step fetch for John. This is quite a race. So two Reclaimers with three power versus an unflipped Delver. And a shuffled deck, so we don't know what's on top currently for John. <laughs> Two hits wins the game for Kevin currently. Obviously, uh, John could choose to hold creatures back to block, but that's how the math stands right here. Delver trigger. Doesn't flip. Stays a wizard. Tapping to expressive iteration. <laughs> Trying to figure out what to do with this expressive iteration now is John. Yeah, the servo that turns 
Exiling a Dragon's Rage Channeler. So we'll likely see that cast. It will never get Delirium with Leyline of the Void on the table, but some surveils will be good for John. Wasteland on Plateau. Attacking for six here is Kevin. DRC will block one. Playing a Savannah and passing the turn. Delver Trigger reveals a lightning bolt on top. Quite a bit of laughing in the background. We don't really like that. Double bolt hitting Elvish Reclaimer. Zach Strix is here and says, Hi, Chris, some bug control. Maybe. Maybe. Knight of the Reliquary hits the table for Kevin. That's going to be pretty good. Playing a Wasteland and passing his John. Who has an insectile aberration now to block? And the stage comes down, now sacking Savannah to Elvish Reclaimer. <laughs> Wasteland on stage in response. I like that play from John. But <laughs> Sajiri oh. okay, step will protect. And John dies. So we're going to game three. Leyline of the Void for Kevin. Fetch and Delver of Secrets. So Leyline of the Void, once again on the table, turn zero for Kevin. Pretty good. Kentucky Fried is here. It says, love your vids on YouTube. I love that you're here. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Here's Savannah. Mox Diamond. Discarding Dark Depths. And Green Sun Zenith X, I believe, is zero. Cards? It'll be a Dryad Arbor. And passing the turn. Uh, Delver flips, revealing a daze. Daze gets drawn. Uh, Unholy Heat takes out Dryad Armor. Very nice. Dream Troller says, I forgot to Risa while you were in Mexico. Twitch took my sub streak away. You know, Dream Troller, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Dream Troller, thank you for the resub, though. So with Prime, three months for Dream Troller. Thank you, thank you. Jay Liddy says I should have done the keyboard hands to mess with Kevin. Yeah. X Grave, thanks for the sub with Prime. Hey, Chris, finally not on mobile, so I can send you these Bezos bucks. Yes. Yes. Take all. Of, I want all of Bezos's money, everybody. Send it all.
Then I'll have a yacht. What's up, Xgrave? Kyle Marcus says, is that you on the GIF? Yes, all the GIFs that come up are uh, me as a kid playing Magic, which is fun and interesting. Here's Knight of the Reliquary. Unlicensed Hearse is on the board for John and it's getting activated here. I look like I removed three cards. Maybe not. Unlicensed Hearse, a nice addition to the format. It's, uh, I, th I think at this point we can call Unlicensed Hearse a legacy staple, right? It's, it's, it's a staple card, right? Does anybody agree? Disagree? Does anybody care? <laughs> Wasteland goes into exile of expressive iteration. Comes into play. Insectile aberration gets an attack in. Okay, we have some agreement from the Twitch chat. Here's Knight of the Reliquary. Unbreakable Will is here. I want to play Legacy. I have all of Jeskai Control except for Force of Will, the Sideboard, and Dual Lands. Seems like a fun format, yet hard to play in paper. Yes, unfortunately, a lot of the uh, older reserve list cards are very expensive relative to other Magic cards. Um, but the format is very fun. And if you can find events in your area with proxies, that could be a way around uh, the, the, the cost issue. If you have events in your area without proxies. Uh, there are some budget decks um, relative to other legacy decks uh, that don't use dual lands or reserve list cards. And uh, over time, make some trades, pick up those duels. Yeah. I have to do this like this, just in case. No, 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 I hear you. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, yes, that's good. I'm going to turn, oh, wait, something I have a mile. I'll sack it. Feels like we're in a similar spot. It's a nice oh, yeah. Uh, response to a search. Uh, sure. All right, so a submerge happened on Night of the Royal Quarry in response to the search activation. Well, you played, you played, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Cards two? two. Yeah, the Knight of the Reliquary was just put into the graveyard. That's incorrect. It should have gone back into the library, I guess. This being stage gets found. Unlicensed search just remove the knight that should not have been there anyway. Whatever. We'll just report this game to the DCI. Ponder. Can someone submit a ticket to the DCI for that? What did you do? 
Huh? And, oh, a captain drop. Okay. okay. Thank you, Richard and Pizza. All right, a bolt in the night of the reliquary dies. Now a fetch. A tiger gets found by Kevin, who appears to have one card in hand. This one. Whoops. I meant this one, I guess. Damon says, I don't think game rule violation penalties go far enough. There should be fines and jail time. I agree. Send them to jail. Here's Knight of the Reliquary. Maybe holding up Power Blast. Unlicensed Hearse gets ticked up. The Knight not getting any, ben uh, any bonuses from Graveyard Lands at the moment. There's only an Elvish Reclaimer sitting in the graveyard currently. All right, unlicensed Hearst gets in an attack for six after being crewed by the insect. What does Kevin have here? Windswept Heath. Can potentially make a Marilage here, right? John might be in trouble. Enough mana to sack to Knight of the Reliquary, get a Dark Depths, create a Merit Lage, and block whatever John tries to attack with here. Kevin's at one. Making a mana, sacking Savannah to Knight of the Reliquary. It looks like on end step. <laughs> There's Dark Depths. When the first standstill just resolved, no problem. Target. Like, <laughs> yeah. And now we're doing the combo. There's Merit Lage. John has a blocker. The Insectile Aberration can block. Does John have a Submerge or a Brazen Bower in hand is the real question. Although, I think if... Yeah, so... I don't know if Sajiri Step is left in the deck. All right, so Red Blast hits Insectile Aberration. There, there's so many layers to what can happen here, but... Sajiri Step is now an option. Let's see. Days on the... All right, so that, that ends the game. Merit Lage gets there. Kevin gets there. Well played.